talk. We're coming to you from Stickney Forest View Public Library in our conference room. We are going to do something different this week because it's book two bathon, which is basically a readathon. So I'm going to put the official book two bathon link in this video down below and you can see what it's all about. It's only been started a few years ago and it's about reading. Basically all the booktubers um, have their reading goals and we read and some of them post videos every day but some people um, just post um, the beginning one and the end one so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I'm gonna post my reading goals, my to read list and then at the end of the week I'm gonna post the wrap-up and see how much I read and tell you about the books and if I liked them and what I thought so it's basically a lot of fun for people who like to read and who like to post videos about it so um, check it out and um, put your comments below and even join us in the booktube if you want so um, so there are special challenges um, that you don't have to do, but I'm gonna try and do some of them. So that's how I went about picking my books that I'm gonna read. So I will also link the challenges down below and you can take a look at those. Okay, so the first challenge is read a book with a person on the cover. So this is a book I've been wanting to read. It's Becoming Maria by Sonia Manzano. And it's a memoir and it's pretty slim. It's not too long, so I think that'd be good for the readathon week. Um, this is Sonia Manzano, is um, the actress who plays Maria on Sesame Street. And I grew up watching her. She was Maria on Sesame Street, and I watched her all the time. And she actually wrote a YA novel a few years ago called The Revolution of Evelyn Serrano, which I read and I liked. And it was actually more of a middle middle school grade book is what I thought. Um, so I really want to read her memoir. I, I think there's going to be a lot about New York City in there, a lot about acting and theater and how she got into Sesame Street. So it should be pretty inter interesting. Becoming Maria memoir. Okay, so, and I love memoirs. I go through them pretty fast. So that's one of my goals. Um, one of the second challenge for this year's book to Bathon is read a hyped book. So, this is the one I chose. Colson Whitehead's The Underground Railroad. Super hyped book. You, you've probably heard of it. Um, it's won a lot of awards, but also it's been done by, it's, it's uh, been read by a lot of people, a lot of people love it, a lot of book clubs are doing it. Um, it basically is, you know, the story of the uh, slaves going to freedom in the Underground uh, Railroad, but he reimagines it as if there actually is a real Underground Railroad, not just, that was just the term for the route that the slaves used. Um, so he, he kind of reimagines it. So, and so, so it's got, you know, all that slavery and stuff in it. Um, but I heard, let's see, National Book Award winner. Um, uh, I heard it just is, I heard that the characters are very compelling and of course it's very dramatic because you know they're they're slaves and they could be like killed for trying to run away so <clears throat> so um we'll see if i can get through this one this week i'm not going to be too hard on myself if i don't because we're going to be reading it for the book club here in a few months so i know i'm going to eventually read it anyway so so that's my second one my third one is the third challenge is finish a book in one day. So this is a book on my to read list that we have here at the library, 100 Things to Do in Chicago Before You Die. And I've been wanting to read it because this author, Molly Page, came here to talk about this book. So, um, and she seemed really nice and smart and fun. So she's put a lot of fun things in here and I'm sure I will be able to read this in one day because it's not too long. <laughs> so, um, number four, read about a character that is very different from you. And that can be in any way, uh, different in any way. So this book that has been on my to read list for a few years now is called Towelhead by Alicia, uh, Alicia Arion. And 
Um, all I know about this book is that it's about an Arab American girl, a teenage girl who whose father is really strict, and she's like rebelling and she's like acting out. Um, that's really all I know about this. So that whole culture is different from mine. So I'm gonna read about this. I'm gonna finally, finally, it's time to read this. So I hope I like it. I'll let you know um, at the end of the week. Oh, I forgot to say that the, so the days of the book Tubathon are Monday through Sunday night. So Monday, um, July 24th through Sunday, um, July 30th. And it starts right at midnight, the stroke of midnight. Um, I'm probably not going to be reading at midnight. I'll probably be sleeping. So I'll start that morning of Monday morning when I wake up. And then it goes through, you know, 11.59 on Sunday night. So um, that's, those are the days for the Booktubeathon. Okay. So finally, um, read a book you like because of the cover that you picked up because of the, you were attracted to the cover. So this cover, I really, I really like this cover. So I basically don't know anything about this book really, but I want to read it because of the cover. And this author, Adriana Trigiani, um, is a very popular author and I've never read her. So this is Very Valentine by Adriana Trigiani. Um, there she is. Um, what I know about her, um, and I've been wanting to read her, so finally I will. Um, she writes a lot about families and women and like uh, Italian families a lot, Italian American families, because that's her heritage. So it's like it's like family um, oriented. Uh, there's romance in it. Um, lots of um, characters that you can relate to. So that's all I know. Um, so I'm excited to finally read one of her books. And she's got a lot of books out. You can you should check her out. We have a lot of her books here. Like I said, uh, I know a lot of. Uh, people really like her writing so okay so then those I'm so that's my goal I have five books to get through um, some people have set their goal at seven seven books for seven days which is ambitious but you, it, you, you can do it if you put in graphic novels and comic books um, and I don't have any graphic novels or comic books in here so I'm probably not, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get through all these anyway, but we'll see, we'll see which ones I do get through. Hopefully maybe at least three, <laughs> maybe four. So, um, wish me luck and then I'm going to post my results or my wrap up, um, at the end, uh, next week. So, um, that is all and I'm excited to be reading and put any comments below. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the Stickney Force View Public Library's YouTube channel. Also, like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The Stickney Forest View Public Library District, where great things happen.